from the war. When I come back and they applied for the job, they had passed the Civil Rights Bill. They passed it in 64, but they didn't sign it until 65, 1965. And when I went and applied for the job, the Civil Rights Bill had been signed. And the white guy brought me to his plant, and he, I guess, was testing to see if I was familiar with chemicals, how to perform the chemicals to, to make it. That was the key part, performing the chemicals. So his machine was a little different from military, so I, he, he told me I'd do a touch a few things, I asked where they were, and he showed them to me. And all of a sudden, I started mixing the chemicals and getting it together, and here come that big, pretty block of dry ice, come out smoking. Some people call it hot ice, some people call it dry. Came out smoking, and I took the chemicals from that and filled a fire extinguisher with CO2. Mm -hmm. I took the CO2 off of that and filled a fire extinguisher. The white guy told me, I've been in the war in mine, and even got hurt in the war. He told me, oh, I see you're a very smart boy, very intelligent boy. He said, my, my, my. He said, but uh, I don't hide color for this. He said, tell you what, he said, go in the closet and get the broom and the mop. He said, go out front, sweep the trash up out front. The paper out front, because he was next door to a, a city dump light, uh, where it's a disposal place where you dump your garbage and the wind blew it all in front of the ice house. Uh, he said, sweep that up. He said, when you get through, take that mop and go in the room and clean the toilet and mop the, the, the toilet out. I dropped everything. I was so hurt. Whew. I never, it hurt me now. Whew. Man. It was rough. I was going to kill him. Honest to God, that's when I really wanted to kill. You tell me I went to serve my country, and this is what I get? Not a job to take care of my family? So that's what really pushed me to think my own business. And eventually, that's when I ended up with three businesses. Three. I had three businesses, and I had a job. That's what kept me going. And I'm glad I'm here today where I could relax. I said, I did, I did everything, educated the children. So I'm pleased and happy today. But I never forgot and never will.